Happy Halloween, everybody. It is our very first ever holiday episode of The History Gal. And as you can see, I have dressed for the occasion. You're very welcome. Now, it wouldn't be Halloween without some bloody legends and ghost stories. So for some of the best, we're headed over to Hungary today. The people of Hungary and Transylvania have no shortage of myths and legends for us to choose from. I'm sure you've heard of Count Dracula, but have you heard of Countess Dracula? Today we're talking about one of the most prolific female serial killers in history. She's even been mentioned in the Guinness Book of World Records. History lovers, I'd like to introduce you to Countess Elizabeth Bathory. portrait of Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Isn't she beautiful? Doesn't she look so young? Pleasant almost. What could be the secret to her eternal youth? Well, rumor has it she was doing the vampire facials long before the Kardashians made them popular. In 1610, Elizabeth Bathory's castle was raided, and inside were the bodies of a dead woman, a dying woman, and an imprisoned woman likely waiting for her own death. Many people came forward from the town to accuse Elizabeth Bathory of luring in all the young girls under the premise of giving them work at the castle. Unfortunately, those young girls never came home. But if these young girls weren't coming home, what exactly was happening to them? While it was never proved that Elizabeth Bathory was murdering all these young women, oral traditions and storytelling have been passed down through the centuries. What was she doing with these young women? Well, one of the best myths was that she was bathing in their blood. Already well known as one of the most beautiful women in Hungary, Elizabeth Bathory believed that if she was bathing in the blood of young women, it would help her maintain her youthful appearance. Now, if bathing in blood doesn't gross you out enough, some of the other charges leveled against Bathory include torture, the beating of her maidservants, abduction of peasant girls from the town below, and using holiday and family gatherings at the castle as a guise for some sadistic ceremonies. So the question is, is any of it actually true? We know that she was beautiful, but we also know that she was extremely wealthy and powerful. History tells us that those things in combination don't always work out very well for women. It shouldn't be surprising to know that the people who were raiding her castle were her family members and gentry. They quickly put her into captivity and split her land amongst themselves. But the really tricky part of this myth is that Elizabeth Bathory was never put on trial for her crimes. Instead, she spent the rest of her life in solitary confinement, so we never got to hear her side of the story. So even though these bloody myths and legends make for a really great story, we have to ask ourselves as historians, was Countess Elizabeth Bathory really a vampire or a victim? What we have here is the possibility that Elizabeth Bathory was one of the most prolific serial killers in history with a thirst for blood that claimed over 600 victims. Or we could have a classic tale of a rich woman in power who was toppled by the men around her. So what do you think? Is it possible that this legend of murder and vanity is true? Or could it be that Elizabeth Bathory was actually a victim? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section below or using the hashtag TheHistoryGal. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, y'all have a great week and a very happy Halloween.